So the next step in making our diary comics is going to be to take our layouts that we made last time and we're going to start the penciling process, actually drawing our finished comics. The first thing we're going to want to do is to take a piece of paper and rule out some lines for our four panel grid. Now, I've supplied online a printable version that you can uh, use, but if you haven't got access to a printer, we can just take a ruler and a pencil to start, and we'll just start ruling out our own lines. This is the most boring element of the comics making practice, so the least time we can spend on here, the better. But you just want to make sure that you've got nice straight lines. You just want to get four vaguely uniform blocks. So that's a really quick and dirty grid, but uh, I'm going to use the printed version because it's a little bit neater and easier to work with. So if you've got access to a printer, I suggest you do the same. So the step now, once we've got our grid rolled out or we've printed out our template and we've got our layout, is to just start drawing using the layout as a blueprint. But before we start drawing, what we we'll want to do is take the text that's in our layout and just neatly write that out onto our new comics page. This will mean that we know that there's enough space for any dialogue or any um, captions that you've written into your comics so that when we're uh, trying to put the text in at the end, they're not like hunched up around all the figures and stuff. So I've got all my text laid out. The next step is to just pencil our comic using the layout as a base and we'll just uh, try and draw it out as best we can to tell the story that we decided we were going to tell. You don't need to be like too worried about um, final polish at this stage because we are going to be going over these with a pen at the end. We just want to kind of get in the shapes, get in the characters, you know. And the great thing of working with a pencil like this is you can just kind of iterate. If you make mistakes, you can just rub them out and try again. And if when we put our text in, we realized Ah, oh, we need a little bit more space. That's fine too, because we did it all in pencil, so we can all just figure it out. If you don't think you can draw too well, um, don't worry. Everyone can draw. You just have to draw the way you're comfortable with. And we're all just focused on kind of the characters, the emotion, um, getting that plot kind of down as we imagined it when we first started. So what I like to do is to draw really rough, not as rough as our layouts, not with stick figures, but I like to just do stuff really light with a pencil, you know, and what that allows us to do is just draw over a little bit firmer later when we're happy, and we can just iterate and iterate and iterate and get these to a place where we're comfortable. I've made a mistake here. And that's fine. This whole comic might have been a mistake. But that's the good thing with Diary Comics, is uh, there'll be a different one tomorrow. So let's not labor over any decisions and just get it to a place where we're happy. And if you're not comfortable drawing, um, it's just good to think about things in terms of just simple shapes. You know, we don't need to like get every single detail down. You can tell by my drawings, they're pretty loose. You know, they're not gonna win any awards. The idea is to just get these simple shapes, tell the story and just have fun with it. Drawing faces, just wanna play with sort of expressions, mess around and try and get the, the vibe from the character that you intended. The other thing is with diary comics is we're generally drawn ourselves. I don't think this is a one-to-one -one accurate self-portrait of me, but you kind of need to kind of take a selfie or, or look in the mirror before you start drawing your version of yourself. Again, these are kind of like, you know, they're cartoon characters essentially, so they don't have to be one-to-one -one accurate. Okay, so I've got like a real rough pencil that I'm vaguely happy with. What I want to do is just go back through, touch mine up. Um, again, just rubbing out anything I'm not happy with, firming it up, 
And also I can like add some little details. Okay. I've got pencils that I'm fairly happy with. The next step will be to ink over them and create a finished polished piece that we can all be proud of. Uh, we'll be doing that next lesson.